Medical practitioners from all over Africa have gathered in Nigeria's capital, Abuja, for the 2018 Africa Regional World Medical Association Conference. The topic is the globally discussed issue of euthanasia, the practice of intentionally ending a life to relieve pain and suffering. The medical practitioners are in Abuja to discuss the legality of the issue and when it can be best applied. The outcome of the deliberations is expected to form a new healthcare policy for medical practitioners globally. It is the Africa Regional Meeting of World Medical Association. Gathered in this hall are heads of medical bodies from Africa nations who have come to deliberate on a very sensitive topic, defining the boundaries between palliative care and physician-assisted suicide. The medical experts on the continent discussing whether it is right for doctors to help patients whose case they consider hopeless die instead of being in pain. Leading the discussion is Michael Girima, president of the Nigerian Medical Association. And two questions I pose to my students always is that when you consider life worthless, what are those criteria you put together and say this life is worthless? And if you can answer that in the affirmative, I'll go on to ask, do you have the right to terminate somebody's life? Beginning and end of life issues are such issues which are very difficult. We have had discussions about end of life questions, and I must say many of them were very much in consensus. We have reached consensus over the past two decades about palliative care, about pain treatment, about giving comfort to dying patients. Indeed, we have to be part of the African voice on this issue of end-of-life issues. The questions that have been raised and by various speakers since this morning are the same issues we are battling in Kenya. There are very many questions. How do we deal with some of these issues? So Kenya has a policy on palliative care, but on the question of euthanasia, on physician-assisted suicide, we are still exploring that. The issues that we are discussing now are the issues that we are grappling with at home. And we are in the process of reviewing the way we deal with end-of-life issues. Like most other African countries, our health services may not be up to the scratch that we want them to be. The value of palliative care for relief of pain and suffering for patients who are terminally ill and stresses um, that pain itself cannot be viewed as a persuasive enough reason to resort to extreme measures to end one's life. Nigeria's Minister of Health, Isaac Kadewali, also addressed the medical practitioners, but on a different subject, medical tourism. He says Nigeria is suffering from a shortage of manpower in its health sector, admitting that the issue is affecting the country negatively. We are aware of the exodus of health professionals and we are working hard to reverse this trend and stem brain drain in the health sector. The welfare of all health workers is important to us. A recent report by the National Health Service of the United Kingdom says over 5,000 Nigerian doctors are currently working in the United Kingdom's health sector. A lot more are thought to be working in the United States of America and elsewhere across the world. A significant number of African medical professionals have sought professional fulfillment outside Africa, and many more are on the verge of towing the same path. With your guidance and participations, our respective nations must act to reverse the trend. The issue of euthanasia has been a legal battle in most countries around the world. So far, no African country has legalized the process. In 2016, the South Africa Supreme Court overturned a ruling by a lower court granting a terminally ill patient the right to die. It is expected that the decision taken here will form a bedrock for future consideration on the application of euthanasia on the continent.